Most people associate allergens with the outdoors, but indoor air in your home can also trigger your allergy and asthma symptoms. In fact, your indoor air can be two to five times more polluted than outdoor air. From household cleaning supplies, candles, and air fresheners, to even your car in the garage, pollutants are abundant. Add pet dander, dust mites, and pollen to the mix, and your airways can get really irritated. To help you thrive in a healthier living space, I've partnered with our friends at the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, or AFA for short, with several tips to reduce allergy and asthma triggers and improve your home's indoor air quality. Tip number one. Establish regular cleaning routines to remove dust, pollen, pet dander, and mold from your home. If you have wall-to-wall -wall carpets, you'll need to vacuum weekly or consider making the switch to hard floors. Tip number two. When the weather is nice enough to open the windows, keep an eye on the pollen index. In peak pollen season, open windows and doors are an easy invitation to allow pesky pollen in your home to trigger your allergies. So you may want to keep those windows and doors closed when the pollen counts are high. Tip number three, use certified asthma and allergy friendly products. This includes bedding, vacuums, air cleaners, flooring, paint, and so much more. These certified products are independently tested to meet strict scientific standards developed by AFA and Allergy Standards Limited to help reduce asthma and allergy triggers in your home. Simply look for the certified mark to help you live in a healthier indoor environment. If you want to learn more about the Allergy and Asthma Friendly Certification Program, visit afa.org slash certified. And for even more tips, check out AFA's handy checklist at afa.org slash healthy home to improve your home's indoor air quality and reduce allergy and asthma triggers in every room.